Hey guys, so here's a quick video to show you my gesture detection scene. Um, this is with the the connect. It's the it will be the second scene in the simulation. So um, at the moment I don't have Unity working. Um, it's just a few problems with that. So I'll make another video later and show you how I did what I did. But for now I'll just show you the demo. So we'll play it here. So this is a recording of the screen capture I took earlier on when it was a bit brighter out. Um, so I'll just talk you through what's going on. So the bottom left and right hand corner you can see the connect input um, or output whatever. Uh, so on the left is the real time uh, video and on the right is the real time RGB. So you can see here in the blue model is doing the action that I want the user to copy. So um, at the moment it's down the pluck which you can see here. So once I do the when it well when doing the move right it's just the the connect has to pick it up. So I should pick it up. And there we go. So I need to tell the user to blade their body when they on it. Okay, so now you can see that it's changed to strike and the animation is also changed to the strike movement. So the connect is just picking it up a little weird. Look oh there, we have the strike. And now to perform the pluck and strike. So it's just a bit all over the place because once you turn your body it loses track of the left hand. So the pluck and strike takes a few seconds. There we go. So now we want to do the fence and there we go. So all the gestures have been detected and this is the end scene of oh, the end of the gesture detection scene. So as I said, you've completed a right and time to defeat your attacker. So this will be the middle scene in the simulation, and the next scene will be where you actually attack the model in the game, and um, it'll continue from that. So hopefully we had to show you that soon. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and keep an eye out.